Is this reality? Honestly, we're not gonna do hovers anymore because uh, I've like too all much. Memes. But I actually That's feel like meme. Sejuani with enough melee champions is is overlooked potential. Mm. This champion is not generically good like it used to be days of old of Sejuani memes for LCS junglers. Those are long gone. You know, thank you very much. But the changes to Warmogs mean that you no longer have to build any other health items. You used to, as a jungler at least, with the lower level value, have to build your chem tank or Sunfire or whatever tank item and then build your Warmogs and an extra health crystal because the gold income to level power curve did not quite work out smoothly. Now Warmogs, you can immediately slap it on there. They reduced the requirement for the passive. With the rise, uh, one of the most iconic, ah, you know, faker sure. champions as he's been in so many cinematics as the champion as well. If we get some early jungle attention though. Oh yeah. Rise is a very vulnerable champion early on here. Good hover. If the gank comes through, there it is. And there's your damage. Jose Diodo ready to follow, but it does not find the second part of the W. And that means that Abadaga will get away to the safety of Closer. Wind becomes Lightning, not going to hit the second part of that W now either. Closer's the one who's in some trouble. He's going to be stunned up. Palafox is coming back in, but he doesn't get the Kingslayer in time. It's the first blood over the 100 Thieves. Make it a two for one special buy. One get really one. He changed the story for the early game. And especially for a champion like Xin Zhao that loves to get these early plays and loves to develop these early leads. For having one of those kills go over to Closer, man, he's feeling great about oh, the current state of the game. Oh, two, this is going three. to turn real dicey. You got someday lower HP. Closer jumping in. He's ready to go. They're going to switch the focus Done. over onto him. But now the fight is looking real bad for the Thieves. They will lose one and they're about to lose another. Flash the oh, follow up okay. now. And someday's getting away. The stun comes out. And there's the whoop. They don't even need the Look smack. At the uh, champion rosters in this in the post game. They're going to be like, whoa, the, the Zig Senna bottom lane. That's got to be the story oh, from the beginning. We don't have time for them. We got a fight breaking out. It's a 3v3. And now Palafox is stuck on the wrong side uh -oh. of the wall. He flashes out trying to stay alive with the Realm Warp coming over. The fight still carrying through. The damage gets done and Closer is gone. Licorice tries to find his way out. Can the fear tether stays attached. The fear comes through and the kill comes down. Palafox continuing to stay alive, trying to run away now. Abadaga's got some damage, but the King Slayer's coming through. Palafox back on the run. Needs the cooldowns, dashes away. and Richest man in the game. And Jose Diotto back up here in the top lane, seeing if maybe there's a play to be made. Sejuani's very, very powerful at diving just because she's such a powerful meatball. And here we go with the damage coming down to the burst, going out. Someday's still alive. They finally get the kill. TP's showing up from both sides. Palafox ready to help the team. They get another dive now. Abadaga's the target. They're properly tanking up the aggro. They're getting everybody away, and Licorice is just Another fine. challenger? Closer's ready to go. He's going to look for the kill onto somebody that's vulnerable, but he's coming in. The wind becomes lightning, but he can't the break hell? the thunder. It's Jose Diodo getting the kill. Closer, what the hell? Closer done, lost his mind. Slowly working in, clearing out these control wards. I like the, the kind of reorientation of the map for FlyQuest. Sending Duo up on top side, sending Jose over here as well to, to make the strong push through here. They even they even just run right past Red for the Ooh, dive. Oh, nice aim there on the ulti as he tries to hop away with a satchel charge. FlyQuest picking up the first kill here for free. That is who he's first death of the game. They're going to go after someday here next. Wild Growth immediately on to Jose Diodo, making sure he's able to tank up the turret aggro. Holding that aggro as long as possible, and he finally has to walk away. The CC is enough for 100 Thieves to get one back, but it's still a two-for-one play in FlyQuest. Fate. Back up and heal with your Warmogs for your team for some of the late-game objectives and these more drawn-out setups. 100 Thieves, speaking of setups... They're ready to go in this brush here. If somebody from FlyQuest steps just a little bit too far forward, and there he is! They're going after the Dog Maw. They've got him getting away for now, but the fear comes out. The damage goes through. Say goodnight to Dreams, and Johnson will join them. 100 Thieves get two for nothing there. The patience pays off. They base, but their damage is not insanely high because, as you see, Johnson was walking from base, and he was just waddling over as Kogma. So there's plenty of time for all of 100 Thieves to join and then try and fight them off this. And they're grouped up inside the pit. 4,000 health, though. They're forcing the issue. All right, 100 Thieves is ready to go. FlyQuest wants to commit to the bear, and they're going all the way in for it, but it's stolen away, and Closer guarantees 
things are going hundred thieves way. Two more kills back over to the mid laner. Abba Dog is just knocking him over and the Red Bull Baron goes to the thing. Wide open, the inhibitor itself already about to be taking some damage. Closer jumps in after Palafox. Licorice and Hose and Yoda were jumping in looking to fight, but that is not a fight you want to be looking for, my friends. Abadaga on a killing spree, 100% kill participation here on this rise. Zonia's second item for Huhi as well. Oh my goodness, these Nexus turrets are under fire. Half HP left in the first one. 100 Thieves taking it slow and steady. Jose Diodo jumps in, but he's out of mana. By the time he engages, he flashes back out, but the follow-up's coming in. They don't have the money, they don't have the damage, they don't have the health, they don't have a prayer. 100 Thieves take out the mid laner. They're not done yet. It's a double kill back over onto the Cog. Who he stays oh, alive. He wants to get away from the dead body, but it will not work. Kog'Maw gets his revenge, but it is 3v4 in their own base. FlyQuest continue to try to hold the line, but they have lost their first Nexus turret. A TP is going to make things even worse. Jose Diodo's about to die, but not before Licorice does beforehand. And FBI picks up the kill on the enemy jungler. The shutdown comes through on Abadaga, but it is too little. It is too late. And it is 100 Thieves taking the win over FlyQuest with the last couple of hits. 100 Thieves.